G'day viewers, it's Kevin here from EFIL Australia. Uh, at this wonderful sunny day, it warms once again, we've had a wonderful day's flying. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to go through and answer a lot of the questions that we've been getting on the, uh, especially on the um, how to set up the electric start and the remote start switch and, uh, that we have in the aeroplane. Uh, the aeroplane we've got here today, this is actually a 123cc, 104 inch or 103 inch pilot laser. Um, we've done probably about 15, 20 flights in this one so far. And it's been really, really good. Lovely aeroplane, love it to death. Okay, so where we're gonna start is, uh, firstly, with the remote start, most of everything that we do is this little switch here. And unfortunately, this is FR Sky. Uh, I think you can do it with Jetty as well, but I don't think, you, and, and you can do it uh, with the remote switch with the AR as well, if you've got the FR Sky uh, remote switch option. Okay, and that's how I actually turn the whole model on, which I'll just show you this here. Uh, this is the uh, knob that I use, and once I turn this on, the aircraft will become live. There we go. We can see we've got uh, an arming light. Rudder's gone straight, which we can see it's all working. And so that's how I do my remote switching. So I will now turn it off again, so I don't have to touch the, air the aircraft again today, and I will turn that off just with the switch. And there you go, it's all gone off. And if you watch, all the, all the telemetry will go red in a second. One, two, three. There we go. So now I know I'm not getting any telemetry. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the uh, FR Sky remote switch and how I switch the model on and off. Now, what we need to do now is just not having to unplug the ESC. One of the big things that people are, com or not complaining about, but asking about is how do we power the um, actual ESC, all right? And this is the ESC to drive the starter motor? The, yep, yep. The, here's the ESC here, which I've got, I've actually got it in, inside the aircraft and I've got lines going to the starter at the front or, or um, cables. Um, this is the switch that I'm using. Now this is actually a 230 amp, uh, 30 volt, um, remote switches, PWM switches, that I have put in series to run this aircraft. Now we're looking at other switches at the moment as options because there are some other options out there and we want to make sure that we get the right one uh, for these aircraft uh, eventually. All right, so we're still going to work on that. So just keep an eye on the, uh, on the video channel and when we find a range of switches, then we'll show you which ones we think would work the best. Okay, so how does it work? So what we have here is, this is a PWM switch. It's plugged straight into a channel, and when I turn the, uh, when I turn the uh, receiver on, then this switch actually opens. And therefore, it will then allow power, which from our starter battery, which we'll plug in here, to go through to our ESC, which I'll plug in here. All right, so when I turn the, aircraft on, you'll see it's gone live. All right, now when that switch is off, then it doesn't have a light. If you've got this in the wrong way, then you just need to reverse the channel. That's all you need to do. So when your receiver comes on or turns on, this should arm and then that will arm your ESC. It's really, really quite that simple. All right. So if anyone's got any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. I will answer them as and when I can. But that's really, in a nutshell, how the best to use the electric starts or how to isolate them when you turn your receiver off so that the actual ESC is not beeping, which I will demonstrate. So we'll turn the aircraft off. Okay, so there's no, there's no signal going to the ESC. If I plug this directly into the ESC, it will sit there beeping all day. You can hear that, and you don't want that. So what it means is if, you've got, if you don't want to put a switch or don't want to use a switch, then you just need to, when you've landed your aircraft, come and take your battery out or unplug your battery. That's really as simple as it is, if you don't want to use this style of switch. 
So I think that pretty well covers it. Like I said, if anyone's got any questions, just pop it in the comments and I'll get to it and answer it as soon as I can. Anyway, thanks for that. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you next time. Well, that's excellent, Kev, because I even understand that. Good. Thanks, Brad. Good video, mate. <laughs>